Hi guys, welcome back. In honor of week four of quarantine, I am bringing you this complete full length total body, super energizing bar routine. You will need a little bit of equipment for this one. Um, you can use things you have around the house though. So grab one weight or a jar of beans, something like that, um, and a small ball if you have one. If not, just grab a little cushion off of your couch and that will work equally well. But throw down your mat, grab a chair for balance, and let's do it. All right, so we have a little bit of cardio in here. That's gonna be kind of the energizing aspect because I know you guys are not getting in as much cardio as you need to be getting in while you're sitting around home. So let's start like we often do. Arms are going to come up overhead here, draw navel in, lift the chest, standing nice and tall, and we'll just start with a nice big knee lift. So knees lifting up toward the chest, exhaling every time you lift. and enjoying the nice popping in my hips. Probably you can't hear that, but maybe you're enjoying a nice popping in your own hips from sitting around home. So how's week four starting out for you? Seems we're gonna be in here for a while still. Well, that's exciting. And add a big pull. So just bringing the heart rate up a little bit here with those big arm motions. I know you've got a little energy to burn. And we'll take a twist. So elbow coming down toward opposite knee, just warming up the torso a little bit. And go for four, three, two, one. Good, bring it down. Feet all the way together here. Nice, quick, narrow squat and up. Make sure that the legs stay really pressed in together. Heels are down. And knees are just tracking straight forward. Is the heart rate up yet? <sighs> Mine is. Cardio fitness, whoa, where have you gone? We want you back. So most of the cardio we're doing is going to be right here at the start. Just to make sure that you're awake and with me, go for three, two, stay low, pulse it here. So nice controlled, remember heels are pressing down, squeeze your butt like you got 500 euros in there or whatever your currency is. Keep pulsing, keep pulsing for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You're welcome to continue pulsing here. If you want to take it up a level, you're going to take a little hop side to side. So keeping everything squeezed tight, go for that little baby hop. So in terms of noise, it really shouldn't be that loud because you're barely leaving the floor. You're keeping it controlled. You're keeping a bend in the knees to protect the joints. So you can go for it. Give me eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand all the way up. We're gonna hop the feet out now. So feet will just hop out, big wide plie position. Hands stand your thighs, hop back together. Let's go for it. Nice light hop together. If you wanted to modify this one, you could either step it out or go for a big plie up and down, yeah? Let's do four, three, two, one. Stay out in that big plie, and you're just gonna stomp the heels. And I'm gonna take opportunity to tack my hair back down. There we go. Arms out to the side, and you're just stomping. So you should feel this in the inner thighs. It's a lot of control in the glutes, outer thighs as well. Keep stomping there for five, four, three, two, one. Arms out to the side here. We're gonna step, alternating leg in to the other, all the way up to standing, arms overhead, 
Step it back out and switch. Make sure you're not doing the sad drag of that foot like that. You're really pushing up off of it. Big energy, floating it in to your standing leg. Arms going nice and big there as well. Let's do four, three, two. You guys have the option of continuing with this for a little lower impact or taking this up to the full jack. So either continue with that step or hop the feet together. Heels down as you land, sitting down into it. Can you give me five? And last one, feet stay together. And you're just gonna give me a little switch foot jump here. Navel drawing in, chest stays lifted. Hold my hair in place. Ugh. This is the most annoying thing when you're trying to work out. I have too much hair. It's too heavy. Go for a five, four, three, two, one. Remember that narrow squat from the start? You're dropping right back into it. Hold it here for just a second. A little bit of recovery, kind of, sort of. And we're just gonna take an alternating step. So going in either side to a regular squat. So we're narrow and we squat out. Bring it in the other side. So step and step. Make sure you're dropping to a squat and not a side lunge. So weight is equal in both legs there. Both knees are bent and butt will be just perfectly centered. I got a little bit more cardio here at the start. It is stuffy in here today. I very rarely complain. I mean like never. I never complain about being like too hot in here because this apartment is not too hot ever. I think I just went a little bit wild with eating some trash yesterday, so I'm just sweating that out right now. Go for two, one. Stay in that wide squat. Squat pops. So I'm gonna show you the modification first. You'll either get low here, if you can touch all the way down while keeping chest above my hips, do that, and you'll pull in. So that's the mod. If you wanna go all the way, you're gonna hop together. Down, hop together. Make sure you're pushing knees out as you sink down into that squat. And go for five, four, three, two, one. Finish in that squat there and give me that little stomp again. And just like I did with that first set of stomps, I'm gonna take this opportunity to uh, Fix myself, get myself in order. Navel drawing in tight here. So even though we're lifting the heels, the weight is still pushing back. Back, back, back. We wanna feel backs of legs and the butt. We don't wanna just feel quads. Quads do enough as it is. So let's like give them a little relief. Go for five, four, three, two, one. You're either gonna pulse your squat here or go for a little baby. Pop, pop, pop. Again, I don't think you guys need to worry if you've got neighbors for this one because you are landing so light, there's so much control here that it's not gonna upset the neighbors. So if you're feeling like ready to go for it, you've got energy to burn, I recommend you just go for this one personally. Just make sure you're keeping a bend in the knees. The balls of feet might not even really leave the mat. Go for five, four, three, two, one. That's gonna become a full jump or just a regular squat. So if you wanna keep heels down, regular squat, that'd be your low impact. This is a bit higher impact. So yes, it will make a little bit more noise. Still shouldn't make very much because you're really focusing on landing light and landing with a soft knee as well.
This is kind of our finale for our standing cardio. Go for five, four, three, two, one. Hold squat. Five, four, three, two, one. Press it up. Whew. Give it a shake out. There we go. How are we feeling so far? Everybody still with me? Still with me? Oh man. Yeah, it's a bit like, it's just like muggy. It's muggy, I think because it, it rained. So I think it's not, the, it's not the heat I'm feeling, it's just like humidity. Ugh. So feet hip distance apart here at the end of your mat. Take some nice deep cleansing breaths. Okay. And we're gonna crawl it forward into a plank. Yes, we always plank. Um, it is rare the workout that you find for me where there is no planking. It is a rare one indeed. So in this plank, let's just start out nice and mild. You're gonna exhale back to downward dog. Inhale forward to plank again. Exhale downward dog. Inhale plank. So if you guys are in Madrid and doing this workout sometime close to when it's posted, then uh, probably it's gonna be pretty humid. So you might be getting a little sweaty and sticky too. If you're not in Spain, tell me, does it rain every year the week leading up to Easter, like without fail? Let me know, because in Spain, yes. Every year, like you know, you're like, Semana Santa, oh, time for it to rain. It's supposed to rain all week. Doesn't matter, I'm trapped at home anyway, so whatever. Forward to plank again here. You're gonna step the right knee, tuck it into the chest. Left knee comes as well. Step back, back. So it's gonna be a tuck, tuck, really squeezing, engaging the lower abs. Keep shoulders over the wrists. Step back, back, tuck, tuck. If you need a little break from these planks at any point, either take a downward dog, hold there for a hot second, pedal it out, or drop the knees, come back to a child's pose. Let's go for two. And one, and step it back. I'm gonna give you a quick downward dog there, if you've been sticking with me. And come forward to plank again. We're gonna take that up, well, not up, we're gonna take it to the side. So you're gonna step right foot, left foot, back, back, other side, left, right, back, back. Now we're activating a little bit of the obliques as well, because we've got that little twisting motion. Here's four. Three, I'm sucking wind. Two, one. Option to continue with those steps or make it a jump. So it's just gonna be side, back, side, back, side. Four, three, two, one. Downward dog. I legitimately hate those. I don't know why I selected those. No one will know, because I really hate like any kind of tuck jump. Okay, final thing here. Let's finish either with a step. So I'll let you start with a step, and if you're ready to amp it up, make it a run. So full mountain climb right here. Shoulders over wrists. Keep that butt down. I'm watching. And keep running for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, hold plank for five, four, three, two, one. Knees down. Oh, let's all take a quick child's pose there. I feel the sweat dripping down my forehead. It's fine as long as it doesn't hit my eyes, but as soon as it hits my eyes, like they just go bloodshot and it looks like I've been like, hot boxing the workout room or something. So tuck toes under here, roll back downward dog. Go ahead, walk hands back in toward the feet. Heels down, set the butt back. Slowly roll back up to standing. Are we feeling warmed up? That was your warm up. That was your warm up, so we're nice and warmed up. Give it a quick little stretch out here, and then we'll get into whew, those bar series. Hello. 
Hello, eye sweat. Inhale, arms out to the side here, shoulders soft. Make sure you are tucking navel in. On the exhale, sink down into it. Inhale, big reach overhead. Do that again. So exhale low. Inhale, reach. Oh, it just hit my eye. Just the left eye though. So we're gonna get one red eye. Last one here, hold your reach at the top. Turn toes so they're facing forward. Feet are parallel. Inhale, optional lift a little higher if you want. Exhale, find a forward fold. So fingertips to floor. If that is uncomfortable for any reason, keep a bend in the knees, take hands to the thighs, and you'll modify there. So just keeping the chest elevated a little bit more, a little bit more support for the lower back there. But if you're okay going down to the floor, do that. Give the hips just a little, little baby wiggle there, side to side. And we'll keep both feet facing straight forward. Walk the hands over to the right ankle, grab around that right ankle. Inhale, lift, expand through the chest, lengthen the torso on your exhale, melt down into that right leg. Hold there for just a second, inhale. And as you exhale, bend your right knee. So opposite knee bends, you're pushing the weight back. So heels stay down, butt is pushing back. And on your next inhale, you'll reach the right arm up. So we're still turned in the direction of that straight leg, hugging the chest in as close as possible toward that leg while sitting low in the right hip. Press both knees straight there. Take that right arm that was just up in the air. You'll thread it through your right leg and left arm. Reach it for the left leg. So you're just reaching it across. Just go wherever you can with that. If you wanna get a little bit extra with the shoulder, you'll duck the head through and pull it through there. I know I look super cray. And then go ahead and release. Walk the hands through center over to your left ankle. So just grab around that left ankle, inhale, lift, pull shoulders back, lengthen. Exhale, fold down over that leg. Inhale, on your next exhale, bend the right knee. And then as you inhale, sweep left arm up. So just opening chest and shoulders. Ooh, it's a great stretch for when you've been sitting a lot. And slowly extend that left leg straight. Take the left arm down, through, and reach it for the right leg. Um, so if you want to follow, ooh, this side feels a little bit better actually. If you want to follow with the head, you can. And release. Walk hands back in the center, put a bend in both knees, take hands together at the base of the spine, let the hands just drop overhead. Give the hips a little wiggle out there, so just stay low. And keeping the butt low, release the hands back down to the floor, heel toe feet back into hip distance. Sit the butt back and squeezing the glutes, slowly roll your way back up to standing to think we're just getting started isn't this fun so we're going to start off with one of our props here grab a small ball if you have it if not like i said a little couch cushion can work as well i'm trying to think of anything else um in the first quarantine series video we used a roll of toilet paper i don't know if you got a roll of toilet paper that could work here as well it's gonna be obviously a bit smaller maybe use like the what is it like the three ply double roll fancy stuff I don't know go ahead and bring whatever you have there between the inner thighs we will need our little stabilizing agent here as well so give it a nice tight squeeze feet are parallel bring the feet fairly close together here so if you're all the way out here you're not gonna feel anything with the inner thighs squeezing that ball so stay narrow tuck navel in tuck butt in rest fingertips onto that chair chest lifted we'll just roll up to the balls of the feet roll back down so nice and easy exhale lift inhale lower exhale lift inhale lower remember you're keeping navel glued to the spine here just rolling as high up onto the balls of the feet as you can so one thing i've really noticed since being at home and not walking my usual amount is that my calves are getting weak such sad face and i know people don't think of like 
oh, well, like, I really want to have strong calves. Like, please can I have really, like, muscly calves? I know people don't, like, think that that's, like, a real target area. But all I'm saying is that calves are surprisingly useful in daily life. So, like, for things like stabilization and balance, I'm kind of missing that my calves were once a lot stronger. I'm like, I'm feeling this. I'm like, wow, you haven't done a lot lately, little guys. Time to change that. Let's do three, two, stay up on one, and I want you just pulse, pulse, pulse. There we go, now we're feeling them. Welcome back, calves. Welcome back. I mean, I guess I could just sit and do this all day. Actually, not all day, but like if you're cooking or something, you could just stand at your counter and do calf raises. So really like this is just me being lazy. But walking, walking. Go for five, four, three, two, one. Keep the heels lifted. We're gonna slide down. So it's like you are sliding down a wall. I'm gonna turn to the side and show you that way as well. So you don't wanna be like here, just pushing the butt back. It's like you're sliding down a wall. So back stays nice and flat. Press all the way back up, squeeze butt tight. So inhale down, exhale, squeeze it up tight. Keep it going there. So your mission here, if you have a ball, is to pop that ball. If you're using a cushion, I don't know, make it like explode feathers or something. Or like, uh, what do you call it? The fake, the feather alternative. The, the petroleum-based feather alternative. Go for four. Three, two, stay low on one, and you pulse. Keep drawing navel in tight, low and slow. Low and slow. What are we holding in the butt? 500 euros. I wish. Wouldn't that be great right about now? Keep pulsing here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Don't even dream about coming up here. You're gonna push the butt back, tuck under, push back, tuck under, push back, tuck under. Keep it going there. So I'll show you from the side again as well, just to give you a slightly better idea of what's happening. Back, tuck, back, tuck. You're getting, getting ready for your uh, triumphant return to the club in, oh, let's just be safe and say 2021. But you, know, you don't wanna lose like all of your moves when you burst onto the scene of club life again next year. So we're gonna like keep these tucks going. Go for three, two, one. Cause I'm so generous. I'm gonna let you come up for a second. Don't drop the heels though. Nope, not that generous. Bring it back down again. Keep the butt tucked, squeeze in on that ball. So you're just pulsing. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Hello, inner and outer thighs. Our old pals. And not just like a little, like, pathetic baby squeeze here. Like, Urgh! I mean, squeeze it. Squeeze it like you mean business. Make it shake. Go for five, four, three, two, one. What say you? We do. One drop, squeeze, drop, squeeze, drop, squeeze, drop, squeeze. A little lower, squeeze, lower, squeeze, lower, squeeze. Whoo, she burns. Go for four, squeeze, three, two, one, I'm gonna let you roll the heels back. Oh, sweet relief. Now pop them back up again. Heels back. This is slow. So you're gonna, you should be shaking somewhat uncontrollably as you lift those heels up and bring them back down. I don't know if you can tell, yeah. You can tell, I'm shaking. I'm shaking, we should be shaking. 
This is the vision. If you have not shaken yet today, now is the time. More shaking. Go for four, three, two. Keep it up on one, just drop it low, squeeze up all as tight as you can, hold here if you want a little challenge. Arms up to a fifth position, hold it four, three, two, one. Bring it up, release. That was a long one, hey? Go ahead, get rid of that ball or cushion, and you're gonna grab your weight, can of beans, jar of beans, whatever. I don't know why it's all about beans for me. There are other things that come in cans and jars too. Um, I just really like beans, apparently. We're gonna come to a wide second position here. Oh, inner thighs. We're not done with you yet, I'm so sorry. So heels pressing down. You can have the inner fingertips here on the bar. Just make sure you're not like pushing all your weight over there. Uh -uh. Outside arm, victory goal post. As you slide down, you're gonna bring that elbow into center, press it back up. So it's gonna be a slide into center, press it back up. Giving the shoulder blade a little squeeze at the back. Heels, remember, stay down here and you're keeping the butt tucked. Again, I'll just turn off to the side here for a second so you can see. So butt stays tucked. You're not like all the way up there. Not the same thing at all. Keep it going here. Nice and controlled. So the thing that's pulling you up is this idea of the backs of the thighs just magnetizing back together. For three, two, Last one, I want you to stay low here and you're just gonna pulse that arm. So low pulses here, just in the center. Lift, 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 lift. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rotate it open to the side and you're gonna press knees back. Do a little pulse back, back. So knees and arm, squeeze, squeeze, Drop the tailbone a little lower. I know you're sneaking up. I know it. How do I know? Got eyes everywhere. I'm the Spanish government. I'm tracking your phone. Go for four, three, two, one. Good, stay right there. I want you to hug the elbow into the side. So palm is facing in. You're like a little V shape here. We're gonna lift that V out. So as you lift, you're gonna also lift the heel on that side. So it's just that side, heel, arm, bring it back in. It's just going to lift up to about the level of shoulder and back down. Lift, down, lift, down. Let's do four, three, two, Heyo, keep it there in one. We pulse it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pulse arm for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Heel down, release, and we're just going to turn in toward your bar. So the same leg that was just out, it is still out. It's just now behind you. Hips are square to the bar. Wow, it is so sweat-tastic in here. Okie dokie. Arm is gonna come out here. Elbow is lifted, palm is up to the ceiling. Slight bend in the elbow, chest lifted here as well. So we're gonna drop down to a lunge, elevated bicep curl. So hug in toward the shoulder, extend. Make sure that you are tucking that back knee under. You might not actually need to use the chair here um, if you want to. That is why it is there. But you know, do what you need to do. Just down and up, keeping that butt tucked under. So posture is nice and long and tall here. You're balancing tray of drinks on the head for four, three, two. Stay low on one, arm 90 degrees, and you're pulsing that lunge here. Pulse it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last thing here, we're gonna do an Arnold press. So that's gonna be an open. You're gonna do a shoulder press, pop up that front heel, bring it down, wrap it back in. So it's gonna be an open, press, down, wrap, open, press. 
Keep a bend in that back knee. You are tucking it under. Remember, this is what I don't want to see, that back leg extended straight, because then it is cheating. Press up. There's no cheating here. Go for four. I mean, I'm dripping sweat right now. Might have to open that window in a second. Three. Two. Yes, we're holding that last one. Yes, we are. Arm up overhead, heel lifted. Pulse it here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up. Weight comes down. Put it down for a second. Give it a little shake out. I cannot any longer. Like, I need to open this window. So, here's a little break opportunity for you if you need to open a window. Booby trapped. There we go. Okay. Let me just stick my head out for a second. <laughs> There's not a lot of air movement, so don't know how much that's gonna do, but we've done it. All right, if you're using a chair, flip it over to the other side here, um, or just face away from me. At this point, that's probably better. And we'll step back out to a wide second position. Let's see if through my like sweaty haze, I can remember what we did on that first side. Arm is in a victory goal post. You're going to bring it in, squeeze back to the thighs here to drive up. Arm comes back out to that goal post. So let me know in the comments how sweaty you got doing this workout. Honestly, like, I'm a bit of a sweaty person, that's true, but I'm usually, like, I don't run warm. I tend to run pretty cold, but I also don't deal very well with humidity, and it's mega humid right now, which is somewhat unusual for Madrid. But like I said, Semana Santa, time to rain. Every year, just like without fail. So also you can let me know down below, where were you supposed to be traveling to this week? Oh, this is fun. We can, we can play the game of where should you be right now? I should be in Lanzarote, in the Canary Islands, with a private rooftop pool. That's where I was supposed to be. Last one here, stay low, and little pulses with that arm. Keep pulsing, drop tailbone low for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Open it up here. Knees and elbow pressing back. Back. So yeah, if you had a really good like beach vacation planned, I'm very sorry. Very sorry. Probably would have rained anyway. Let's just say that. Let's make ourselves feel better. It would have rained on us. Go for six, five, four, three, two, one. Turn the palm in, bring the elbow into that little V shape. We lift, same arm, same heel. So just in line with the shoulder, squeeze it back in. So it's a slow squeeze in. We are resisting there. I'm sorry about all the like sweat that's just rolling down my face right now. Also like, at least you can't smell me. Let's say that, because I am smelling <laughs> ripe, real ripe. But like, work from home means you don't have to shower as much, right? Save water, save water, save the planet. Go for four, three, two, Keep it up on one, we pulse that plie for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, stay low, pulse the arm for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Bring it down. Turn in toward your bar or similar device. Feet, knees, hips, you know the drill. They're all train tracks, going straight forward. Arm is out in front, soft bend in the elbow. We drop it low, elevated curl, extend up. So we won't do a full extension there at the elbow, just because it can put a bit of strain on the joint. 
That is not our goal. Okay, let's come out of the sadness of me telling you guys to like comment where should you be right now. Where is the, f where are you gonna go for your first vacation? Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, see, cause I'm like, well, when will I be going on my first vacation? We shall see. Um, was supposed to do bachelorette weekend, not mine, friends, in uh, Lisbon, mid-May. I think that probably will not be happening. Um, didn't have anything planned after that until August, I guess early July, kind of. Do one more here, keep a 90 degree, pulse that lunge. Um, but early July, we're staying in the Comunidad of Madrid. So hopefully that one will be a go. It's just a rural house. Go for six, five, four, three, two, one, stay low. You're gonna open, press with the heel lift, bring it back in. Really hoping to be able to get to the beach in August. Really, really hoping. We've got something booked um, in, I think, mid-August, maybe? Can't remember. So hopefully that'll happen. Let's do four. Stay low. Three. Two, we're just one set, one pulse, one set of pulses away from being done with standing set. Pulse it here. We got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release. Sweet relief. Give that a shake out. Get all of your props out of here. Get out. Go away. Scram. Okay, we don't need those anymore. Give it a little shake out here. Shall we come down to the mat? Yes, yes we shall. So go ahead, come down to the mat here. <laughs> Let's give it a bit of a stretch out. So I'm gonna take a big step forward here with the left leg. Make sure that that knee stacks directly over the ankle so that you are not putting strain on the knee and sink into it. Think of actively pulling the left hip back a bit, pressing the right hip forward. So magnetizing the inner thighs together. Touch the right hand down here, inhale, reach left arm up, nice little mild twist there. And then go ahead, scoot that foot to the edge of the mat so both hands can come to the inside. And you're gonna do like a little snake motion here. So you're gonna duck the head under, through, press chest forward. And just feel what that does to that stretch. It's just gonna help you get the pelvis a little bit lower. Lower, lower, lower. If you have a flexibility in the hips, you're feeling warm right now, you can lower to the forearms. Same thing here though. I want you to think about pressing the chest forward and through so you're not just getting low by rounding the back. Hoo wee, hello. And then go ahead, <laughs> press it back up. Take that foot to the center. Hands framing the foot. Roll hips back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Toes just pulling back toward you, pressing forward with the chest. You can grab toes with the right hand, pull back. If you are feeling uh, like working on your splits, perhaps now is the moment. Um, yeah, why not? <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm pretty warm right now. I don't know if I'm ever gonna be warmer than this, so we'll give it a whirl. Don't be too hard on yourself though with flexibility right now, because if you've been sitting, oh, flexibility is uh, not, not the easiest. And go ahead and release. Take that left leg back, give the hips a little wiggle out, and step forward with your right foot, so nice. Low lunge here, again, just kind of scissoring the legs back together again. Squeezing the butt tight. Left hand touches down, inhale, reach right arm up, stretch wide across the upper back, shoulders, chest expanding, 
and bring that hand down to the inside. Scoot the foot just wide, and we'll do that little snake motion. So, whoo, ducking under. There's another one you can use at the club in 2021. Oh wow, you're gonna have such like hot moves. Such hot moves. Option to lower to the forearms here. Last time I was at a club was, um, I think maybe 2016, perhaps. It's been a while, it's been a minute. And press it back up. I'm not as young as I once was. Scoot the foot into center, roll hips back, find your half split, and then you are welcome to stay in that half split if you like, or if you're feeling bold, if you're feeling sassy, you can go for the full split. This mat is extremely grippy. <laughs> it's not the easiest one to, uh, to get down on. And go ahead and release. Ooh, sometimes the hardest part is just coming out of it, actually. Give everything just a little, a little wiggle, a little wiggle around there. Okay, doggy. Um, let's flip it around. Come down onto your back. Shall we get some abs going? No, actually. No, let's not get abs going yet. I changed my mind. Let's get some tri triceps. Um, we've done a lot of arms with those weights, but hey, tricep time. So I want you to come into a modified plank here on the knees. Hands underneath shoulders, nice starfish fingers. Make sure you're tucking navel in. So this is not tucking navel in for reference. This is. And we're just going to take a tricep press up. So elbows hug the sides, go as low as you can. Exhale, press up. Really engaging the abs there as well. So make sure you are not letting arms chicken wing out. If you guys want to take these from the toes and you feel like you can keep it, keep it going from the toes and you're nice and supported, you're not feeling it in the lower back, by all means, kick it up to the toes. But this, important to do with good form so that we're really engaging the triceps. So I find knees to be a good option. Let's just do four more. Last one. Whoo! And press back to a child's pose. You can turn the palms up, take a little wiggle, little rock, side to side. Oh, I really need to pop my shoulder. You know when you have that feeling where it's like, oh, come on. No, it's not happening. It's not happening, but sometimes when like when I least expect it, it'll just be like, and then I'll feel like a new woman. For now, I wait. Now I'll come down onto the back. Uh, hug the knees into the chest. Rest the head down. Look up at the ceiling. Take knees into a tabletop position. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, lift the chest here so you're in a crunch position. Let's start from some hundreds. So we move from the shoulders. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Couple more breaths here. One more. Can we extend the legs straight? Keep squeezing heels together. Toes are turned out slightly, so Pilates stance. Keep squeezing navel in tight. Maintain that crunch. If you need to rest the head down at any point, do it. One more breath here. And I want you to lower the right leg. So see if you can float it. If not, just rest it on the floor, but nice big L shape here. Keep moving from the shoulders, just a little flutter. Last breath there. Bring that right leg up. Left leg comes down. Last breath here. And then I want you to grab either calf or thigh, anywhere other than the back of the knee. And we're gonna do a pull, pull, switch. Pull, pull, switch. If you need a little break here for the neck, head is just gonna come down 
and you'll just do that pull behind the thigh. So exhale on the pull, inhale as you switch. Pull, 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 pull. Let's do four more like this, and then we're gonna level it up. No hands, pulse, 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 pulse. Pulse, 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 pulse. For four, three, two, one, and single it. So just one, 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 one. For eight, four, three, two, one, woo! Bring knees in, so head down for just a second. I hope you enjoyed that little L position because we're going back to it. Keep the right knee tucked into the chest. Exhale, left leg long, take a little crunch up here. Grab behind the calf, right leg extends up. Hold on to it for a second. Hands go down in three, two, one. We release, crunch up for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, hold on one, little bend, push, bend, push, bend, push, bend, push, four, three, two, one. Knees in again. We'll do that on the left side. So left knee tucks in, right leg extends long. Remember, you could actually have it down on the floor here as well. So if you are modifying, just keep it on the floor for now. Lift chest, grab behind calf, extend it straight, hands down in three, two, one, straight into these crunches for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. A little bend in that left knee, push, 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 push. Four, three, two, one. Tuck the knees back in. Hello. Both knees are in now. You can keep head, neck, and shoulders down. If you want to keep them elevated, that works as well. We'll just tuck both knees in. Extend both legs out long on the diagonal. So tuck, extend. You guys know, I like to do that really extreme tuck where the tailbone actually lifts off the mat a little bit just to really get the lower abs fired up. Here's four, three, two, one. Keep those legs long helicopters. Keep that lower back pressed down. If you need a little extra support, remember hands underneath the tailbone, but just helicopter here. We're so close to the end at this point. So you guys have basically made it, but you can't say that you've made it until we finish it. For six, five, four, Three, two, one. Right leg on top. I want you to pull in and toward you and down. So exhale. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. This is an advanced one. How I try it. It could be just a little one, just like that. So you could make it quite a bit smaller. Go for two, one. Back to those helicopters. Just a couple more things here. Finish it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Left side on top. Lift, touch. Lift, touch. Here's four. Three, two, one. Left side helicopters. And then we have one big power finale for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, hug knees in. The final big power move is gonna be a starfish crunch, which is one of my favorites. So everything's gonna reach out in an X. Oh, hello, plant. Um, and then you're going to come all the way up, gather the knees in. So modify, you can touch the toes down there. A little bit harder if you just gather the legs. Don't touch the toes. An advanced option is gonna to be to just come into a half boat, no touching the legs either, okay? So come back into that X. We're gonna do 10 of these in three, two, one, and then we're done. Four, three, two, 
Big exhale as you peel it up. All the way up, so full back is coming off the mat. That's halfway. Last two. And one, sorry about that plant. Go ahead and stay all the way up here. Yeah, I mean, if you've got plants around, maybe don't work out directly next to them. Take soles of the feet together here, knees open wide. We're just gonna give everything a nice little stretch out. How are you guys feeling? Hopefully the sweat has started to dry, to mattify a little bit. Whew. Give it a little rock out here, side to side. How about a twist? So I want you to wrap the right leg just around the bottom here. Left leg will come over the top. Hug the left knee with your right arm and twist out toward your left side there. So keeping chest nice and lifted. And let's get a little bit of the hamstring here as well. So that arm that's wrapping around the top, it's gonna be your right arm, I'm mirroring you guys. You're gonna grab the outer edge of the left foot, extend up into it, still twist it to the side, and then that arm that's in back, which is gonna be your left, is gonna wrap around in front here, and lift in front, lifting chest up into it. So I'm gonna turn to the side actually on this one and show you what it'll look like from the side. Because you don't wanna be just like rounded back like this. No, you wanna lift, open up the chest. Good little core strength move too. And release, and then we'll switch sides. So left leg will come around the bottom, right wraps around the top. Make sure that you're pushing both sit bones down. Go ahead, turn toward the leg that is around the top, which will be your right. So you guys are twisting to the right, open up there. If you're wondering why this plant looks so sad also, that's because when you have cats, you can't have nice things. Unless maybe you guys have cats and they're better behaved. Let me know your secret if that's the case. So take the right hand, grab outside of the, um, no, left hand, right foot. So it'll be opposite hand and foot. Extend it long there. And then wrap the right arm around, kick up into it. Oh. Release, come to hands and knees. There we go. Hands underneath shoulders, knees under hips. Inhale, lift the chest forward and through, hollowing out the lower back. Exhale, round, tuck in. And inhale, hollow. Exhale, round, come back to a flat back. Tuck toes under, hover knees up off the mat. Push the butt back to the heels and then extend the legs straight into downward dog. Take a nice little pedal there. Maybe a nod or shake of the head. And then slowly start to pedal the feet forward toward the hands, heels down, sit the butt back, release the fingertips from the mat and just slide the hands on the legs. Once you come to the top, inhale, reach both arms up overhead, little back bend if you're feeling it. Palms together, exhale, hands down, through heart center. Beautiful job, you guys. I hope you enjoyed that routine and you are feeling energized and a little bit sweaty um, and ready to face week four of quarantine. Um, if you guys enjoyed this one, be sure to give it a like down below. Also hit that subscribe button to see lots of other quarantine series videos and other videos beyond quarantine, if there's life beyond quarantine. I guess we'll find out eventually. And <laughs> either way, I will see you guys in my next one, which will be right back here, sadly. Um, but it'll be big fun, hopefully. See you guys then. Bye.